will be mentoring this project. Uh, this is IoT with uh, Arduino and RPi. So all of you might have heard the buzzword that is IoT. Everywhere it is a multi-billion dollar industry. Everybody, everywhere you, you, you'll be doing this. So the basic thing is uh, there are lot many APIs, lot many devices already IoT has been implemented. But the basic aim of this project is to use only by using open source components, starting from hardware, your APIs, software, and dashboard. You have to implement this. So this is the basic framework of your project that you'll be doing here. And this is a multi-domain expert. You need to have knowledge starting from hardware to whatever your language is. So you can first you can see uh, the inner circle uh, device. So the device will be having uh, here the, at the device uh, level, you'll be having a Arduino board. And maybe it, 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 it doesn't mean that you can only use Arduino board. You can go for any uh, controllers or maybe some any SVCs. So your sensors, your actuating devices like you can switch on switch off anything so on device level you will be having this one then one level up that is the aggregation and that is known as the gateway gateway will be your data collection point like mostly you can in uh, layman language you can say it's a server at the gateway level what there will be you have to monitor or store data whatever that is coming from your node and there will be some communication protocol between your node and gateway the protocol may be you, you might have heard about this open source protocols like mqtt coap so you have to means this uh, de uh, decide what is the best suited protocol protocol for your implementation then once the data is received at the gateway, then there will be some restructuring of your data because the data you are receiving might, might not be in a structured manner. So that comes at the storage level. Then up two levels, like logic and analysis and user experience, there comes your dashboard. Like it might, it might be a web browser or it might be an app like Android or might be some Django Python app. For some part, there will be there, there is requirements of EC or double E students, and then for the uh, up up two levels that uh, CS and all these students are interested. So the prop, yeah, that is a more elaborative way of ex explaining whatever the previous diagram shows. That will be the sensor nodes that will be having your the sensor nodes will have your Arduino board and sensors and actual devices attached to it. Then the gateway level, it will be having RPI or some other servers you can take. Then data will be collected, or, but this comes your cloud part. So for mostly electronics and electro electrical students can go for the sensors, gateway, and the communication protocol between them. And for CS students, they can they, they have to work on this part. Like it, it requires most, mostly on database, Python, and JavaScript knowledge. Yeah, so these are the proficiencies uh, I'm looking for. Uh, embedded C, sensor interfacing, and mostly on Python, JavaScript, web development databases. And you can add some like uh, HTML, CSS, and all this. Thing. So I'll go to the next project. That will be embedded experiments using Scilab, Python, and Arduino. I think Samika had given you inter introduction about Scilab. And Python, general purpose language. And the last language that is Julia, uh, it, it, it's a new, newly developed language. Like it, it is hardly around seven or eight years that development is taking place. So the main purpose of this project is you don't have to write a C code for your embedded experiments. Like to write a program in C is rather difficult than in comparison to Scilab, Python, or Julia because these are these are all high level languages so last year uh, we, st we started the project last year 
So already the work, already the work that has been done is Scilab to Arduino interfacing and Python to Arduino interfacing. And you can see this is the Arduino board and on it there is a sealed is mounted. So the sealed is having all the sense, uh, mostly common, uh, commonly used uh, components like potentiometer, LD, LED, LDR. So you have to write experiments and developing APIs from uh, Scylla, Python to Arduino. So the main uh, developing uh, part will be writing the Julia to Arduino interface. You have to write everything from scratch because nothing has been done on that part till now. Then the second objective is the already existing interface from Scilab path from Python and to Arduino. You have to develop it and implement some complex experiments on it. Then yeah, this comes the digital circuits on the same platform. And the last part is Kalman filtering and image processing. And last year the interns who had worked on this project has actually published a book on their name. So whatever experiments, whatever you will be doing will be included in it. And the proficiency is like same thing as before, Arduino, sensor interfacing and Scilab, Python, Julia and whatever. Thanks.